Greetings everyone, welcome in MacWarrior Online, and today we are playing another recently buffed Mac. Mark II Bravo, oh how mighty have fallen. Not long ago this Mac was considered the most powerful Mac in the game. The only other contenders were really a bloodasp. That's it. If you were searching for most powerful mech out there, this was it. Today... Oh well, all the turntables. Anyway, um, since this mech got buffed in the recent patch and in... I don't know, not, uh, not the direction I would uh, expect it to be buffed. I don't know who decided about those quirks. Um, I don't think those quirks are really sensible for this one, but well, who am I to judge? I guess I will just show you, and you will be, and you will decide if you like those changes. Oh, and before we will dive, before we will dive uh, into the video, uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, comment on the video, and click a like. Let's go. Oh, apparently we have some missiles. There's a UAV in Bravo 4. Mm -hmm, there is. Thank you. That's not the weapon I plan to use against UAV. In all honesty. Charlie's a good target. Hmm, yeah. So, of course, I pushed over. And nobody else. There's a light in the back giving out blokes shit if anyone can help. Move, move, move. Another UAV Dota 4. Guys, stop NASCAR and just bomb them. With UAV above us, we need to yep. set. Turn around, turn around, crash. Hello, it's -a me, Mario. I'm dead. So got them dead. I tried. I truly tried, but. I just went for a wrong torso on the guy. Because, you know, he still had all his weapons and he just overheated himself to death. Well, that was his plan, but. Oh well. You cannot win them all. Well, the good, it was a good brawl anyway. Yep, 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 yep. What? Bullshit.
Hmm. There's something here. Maybe I stopped prematurely. A centurion. No, wait, never mind. There's pretty much assault left on the floor as well. Oh. Indy in the open. Oh, and strike. Bullshit. Like, I already have lost 30% of my mech. Doing goddamn nothing. Preventive artillery. Who's fucked that supernova? Please don't shoot me back. Please don't shoot me back. That supernova is in the last spot. Let's uh, let's keep when we try to get up. Let's keep our D5. That's bullshit missiles. Brendel, if you give me luck from that one, I'll help you with that spider. I'll do my best. Shit. Holding lock on Echo as long as I can. Atlas? Julia? Julia? I can't cover them now. Oh, I got one for their SL. For their heavy. Uh huh. Okay. No. First and last, right behind you. Guys. No. Right behind you. We'll push them. India. Why go after me? Seriously, dude. You have Atlas in your face. Oh my lord, another one. Yes, I deleted him. Can we stop shooting me right now? Would be appreciated. Okay, he's halved. No, 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 wait, no. I think I don't want to run anymore. Oh, and strike. Because of course it's strike. Oh, magnifique. This spider have hardened on me from the beginning. I don't know why, but... Seriously? And he turned me? Well, one streak is uh, not enough to bother me really, but there is another something on my back. Well, sorry, I wasn't bothered by him, but he was constantly there. And this spider really wants me. A dragon's crit. They crit. Should. Well, did what I could, I think. Warhammer, if you see it, if you see it, oh, I lost too much of my armor at the beginning. I was like too cocky. I am constantly forgetting about one rule in this mud cut. This is a brawler and this is a fragile brawler. So I shouldn't be aggressive and rush anywhere, but here we are again. Yeah, I think we did okay. Yeah, Peel did okay, obviously, too. This dragon, we let him do his things. Mm. 
Oh well. Uh, Mark II Bravo with new HSL quirks. Not something I saw incoming, to be honest. Um, in my opinion, HSL UAC20 quirk. I don't know. It's it's fun. It's it's some sometimes useful even. But this mech really not didn't need it. All the chassis in the Mark II Bravo family would greatly benefit from this quirk. But somebody decided Mark II Bravo has to have it. Okay. So. Obviously, four ballistic slots in the arms. This is a uh, most important thing on this mech, most defining feature of this mech. Two, uh, four ballistic mounts with additional two energy, two missile and one AMS. So suddenly we have also ear laser cooldown minus 5% and ultra auto cannon 20 HSL. Last one, with some armor in the arms. Fine, I guess. Uh, this mech is not terribly agile. Mm, actually, it's quite, it is quite bad in terms of agility. Hitboxes are so-so. This is city. Those are side torsos. So city is, is big, but you can twist. Side torsos are huge. Your problem is your arms are huge and are covering your uh, torso quite nicely, except this part. But everything you care for is in the arms. So shielding in with arms, uh, well, controversial, let's just say. The build. Mind you, this is some uh, somewhat experimental build. I'm not. I'm not sure if I would be playing with this one in that form. I just couldn't think about anything more useful. Yes, I could do two uh, ER peeps. I played it like that. But it, it, it's, it's insanely hot. And this mech with those Ultra AC20 um, cannons are... Is, well, this mech is designed to be short range brawler, to be honest. Maybe medium range brawler, but short mid. Uh, short uh, mid range. So you cannot uh, allow yourself to be insanely hot. Because if you can fire only twice, mm, well, you're probably dead in Brawl, to be honest. Anyway, two uh, Ultra Auto Cannon 20 with optimal range of uh, 410 meters, projectile speed of 920 and 3.7 of second, seconds of cooldown. Quite potent weapon, even if aiming with it is problematic thanks to... Um, well, the sh this weapon is not firing one shell, but several. But, uh, and those, sever those several uh, shells are totaling 20 damage. So, twice... Uh, twice the rate of fire possible of a regular AC-20, but aiming with all of these those little shells can be problematic if the target is moving. As a backup, two large pulse lasers with greater range, uh, better cooldown. Wait, they are large pulse lasers, especially clan ones, are good weapons. You cannot say no to that. All right, one jump jets to navigate the obstacles. 5 tons of ammunition for our angry auto cannons. Excel engine 3 is 360, propelling us to 65 km per hour, and in total 16 double hit sinks. This is a compromise. This build is full of compromises, let me tell you. I would like to have more ammunition, I would like to have uh, more hit sinks, but there is no good way to achieve this. Uh, the only thing you could do would be to downgrade the engine and to put, for example, one additional ton of ammunition here. That's just about everything you can do. You can up armor the, the legs then. That's it. Uh, maybe that would be even better, to be honest. Because uh, 
even with jumps, this mech can run out of ammunition. Skill tree. Well, firepower obviously. This uh, this tree is enhancing our destructive capability directly. What is important here? Everything related to heat generation. Everything related to velocity. And obviously magazine capacity and enhanced ultra auto cannon. Those are most important. Uh, cooldown, yes, cooldown is directly enhancing your destructive capability too, because your weapon are, weapons are cycling faster, but your limiting capability here will be hit more than uh, cooldown of your weapon. So, not that important really. Uh, I took it, but I understand why somebody would just um, take this cooldown, um, take this, stuff like that, and invest it somewhere else. Probably in survival, to be honest. What else? Range. Uh, range is not that much important here. Yes, with Ultra Auto Clan, Ultra Auto Cannon 20 range nodes start to be useful because for every uh, skill point here you are mm, getting 3. Point, yes, 3.7 uh, meters of range. 3.6 meters of range so well if this is making a um, really difference this is enough of a difference i guess you will be the judge but many people will just skip the range on it too and it will not be anything wrong will it will not break down the build so you can take some of those points mm, maybe even this one and I think that's everything we could spare. And we can invest those nine, those 9 points somewhere else. Me personally, I would probably invest it here. Um, but... Ah, what can I say? Uh, this is incredibly fragile mech. It always was fragile mech. Its best defense was the ability of burst uh, its opponents down faster than the opponent could really hurt it so that is your best shield kill your enemy faster and he can kill you mm, this tree will would certainly help but as with any other um, very uh, very very heavy mech close to 100 skill nodes are not giving you all that much percentage wise 1.2 percent of total of your total armor if this is a difference, somewhat yes, and let me show you. If I would invest those points uh, here, like that, okay, let's invest those, those points here. Now we have in total 126 points of armor and 61 points of structure, so 187. About that. 174. Uh, is this is really a massive difference? I don't know really. Um, for me, this is not that much, to be honest. So, uh, you can invest in this one because people will shoot you. Uh, Mad Cat Mark to Bravo is not that dangerous. It is very dangerous, but not that dangerous as before. But people still have a habit of prioritizing it over anything else. Because it is a killer. Don't get me wrong. Mobility, nothing. Jump, it's nothing. Operations. Ah, uh, yes. This mech is hot. This mech is hot, how can I put it? Even with all those heatsinks, this mech is hot, it needs Operation 3, we have enough heatsinks to really um, enjoy benefits of this trip. And if you are very very close to your enemy as a brawler and you cannot hit him because you will explode from overheating, well that's a problem. And this tree is really really helping with that. Sensors. Ah, uh, well I didn't invest in sensors this time, but if you will skip survival tree, then I will definitely use those here. Alright? Auxiliary. As usual. 
two enhanced school shots and uh, two additional consumables. What those consumables will be, that will depend on you. I sometimes use artillery strike and UAV, sometimes strike and artillery, whatever, depending on the situation. So as you can see, in this case, we can choose many, many things and all of them will be good choices for this particular uh, build, this particular make. I guess that's it for our new improved Mark to Bravo. If you enjoyed this one, click a like, comment on it and subscribe to the channel. See you later everyone.